Let's talk about the ACC championship game, a big turning point in, in yeah. your, uh, your career. You come in on the second drive, replacing DJ. What was what was your feeling like out there? Were you kind of in like your your flow state? It looked like you were just playing playing yeah. high school football out there, slinging it around. Yeah, yeah, I, I felt comfortable. Um, I feel like for the first time all year, they just kind of let me play. And um, not that they were restricting me at all, um, but just kind of just, you know, I, I wasn't going in with, four minutes left in the fourth quarter yeah, to run the ball, <laughs> um, you know, or backed up on the five yard line. I just felt like I just got to go play for a little bit. Um, but that, that was, that, I mean, that was a really fun game. That was a game I'll, I'll never forget. And um, I think that was, that was Clemson's best game all year. Um, when, when you, when you compare, you know, just, just offense, defense, special teams. And we had a, we had a field goal block, we had a pick six. Yeah. Um, I mean, just, we, we really put, all phases of the game together, and um, that, that was really that was a really fun game. What was your relationship like with DJ during the season? Uh, I've, I've heard and seen interviews where you've been obviously really supportive of him, yeah, and been a great teammate. But it's always an interesting dynamic. I mean, and it's not not a not a thing that's unique to Clemson. It's all over the country. Whenever you have yeah. an older quarterback, you know, uh, I played at Penn State. They had the same situation with Sean Clifford, who's older, and a five star freshman who came in. What was that uh, like? What did you do to try to be a good teammate during that time? And what was your guys' relationship like? Yeah, uh, you know, I, I love DJ. I mean, we were just texting the other day, and um, that that that's a super um, special relationship. Um, you know, I think a lot of people are always trying to make us butt heads and yeah. it's you know, the media's job. Man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it, it, just, it really wasn't like that. And I think coach Streer, coach Streer also did a really good job of that, but you know, it really started with DJ and just, he's, he's a very, very selfless guy. Um, you know, just, just texting me after orange bowl, just, you know, telling me, keep my head up. And, um, but just not one time has he ever put himself before anybody else or, or pointed fingers one time. And that's, that shows so much to me. Um, over the past year, just his work ethic through it all. Um, and just, you know, I've, I've loved getting to hang out with him and he's, he's, a, he's an amazing guy. So what's one thing that you learned from DJ during your time being, being his backup and then his, the time like, yeah. the past year? Yeah. Um, don't look at social media. Uh, <laughs> um, because I mean, they'll, they'll hate you when you're doing bad and they'll love you when they're doing good. And it's the same people both times. Yeah. So um, just, just focus on your close circle and, um, just, just, just care for, care for who's caring for you. So yeah. what was it like being the backup for like the first time in a while in yeah. your life? You know, when you, when you got the campus, you, for the first time in what, four years, probably like you weren't the man immediately. Yeah. What, what, what was, was that challenging at all for you? Was it, was it, I mean, you know, you said how you, you know, just tried to stay in your lane and not be a local leader yet. But was it challenging mentally to not be the guy right away? I mean, I think it can, I mean, it's challenging at times. Um, but, you know, I, I knew my role and, um, you know, I just kind of kept my head down and kept working. And um, at not one time did I think, you know, I should be a starter. I should be doing this. I should do that. I just, you know, I, I trusted Coach Sweeney. I've, I've trusted him since the recruiting process. I've trusted him now um, with the new changes that he's been making um, and just, fully trusting him. And I've, I've, I've had peace about that. It's going to be God's timing and not mine. And, um, just, just kept working. And I mean, I, I've learned so much. I've learned so much about, you know, how to manage a game, how to, mm -hmm. you know, run an offense, how to lead. And, um, you know, it, it's been a great year. I mean, I, I, I would not, um, be as confident going into the next year, this next year without this past year.